Usually when we talk about the influence of lobbyists in Washington, we don't imagine that lobbyists are literally sitting in the room with elected officials telling them what to do or advising them. But that's exactly what's going on with Republican House Majority Whip Steve Scalise, who is actually interviewing people and having a lobbyist sit in the room with him as he does it. Quinn Gillespie and Associates' John Feary sat in and participated on multiple official interviews with job candidates last month for the new majority whips press operation. Scalise has not yet announced who is going to be his communications director. Sometimes lobbyists are involved in strategic advice. Sometimes they're involved in advising on what issues should be or shouldn't be pushed. But rarely is the lobbyist sitting there during interviews for potential uh, hirees and several ethics lawyers and a current former leadership or a current leadership aide said they have never heard of lobbyists sitting in the room like this during job interviews. This is just uh, um, amazing to me. I mean, this is just incredible. The next step would be the lobbyist does all of the congressman's speeches and also goes to the House to handle voting for the congressman. Um, you know what I think should happen here is that I think, uh, like we've talked about before, how we discussed that politicians should wear um, basically all the logos like NASCAR, like uh, of their sponsors and all of that. I think these lobbyists uh, need to be wearing something that yeah. clearly identifies them uh, and who, whoever they are working for. If you're going to have people in the room during the, the interviews, what about maybe having a couple of constituents in there, Lewis? constituents, David, I think that's the least of their concerns. Steve Scalise really knows how his where his bread is buttered. That's for sure. I'm actually considering having a lobbyist here in studio telling me what to say. Actually, you know what? According to a lot of people who email us, I already have a Jewish puppet master pulling my string. So I, maybe for a lot of people, maybe that's already going on. Uh, there are all sorts of uh, conspiracy theories, but uh, it might not be the worst thing in the world to have some lobbyists around, David. It could be profitable.